Hello and uh, welcome to the latest, greatest episode of What Did I Miss? Special guest today, very, very special guest. He's actually the father of one of the coolest dogs I've ever known. He's a podcaster, he's an author, he's a former collegiate basketball player, great friend of a friend. It's Mark Titus joining us today. What's up, buddy? That is a great <laughs> intro, and I will take it because in this clout shady scene world that we live in, Michelle, <laughs> um, it, it is... It is nice for America to now know that my dog has swam in your pool oh, many times. You can't stop him. So. <laughs> I've ne- if you've ever seen a dog that can't be stopped, that I've never seen it in my life. Just made a running jump into a pool. I, I was like, oh, but he's fine. He's fine. <laughs> yeah. it's, the, it's the same dog, by the way, that uh, every year for March Madness, he's 11. I, I started doing this uh, the, the first year I had March Madness. Uh, the first year I had him when March Madness came around. Um, the old Paul the Octopus bit oh, that yeah. ESPN used to do with the World Cup. I did that with Moses where I'd put <laughs> treats down and he would pick every game of March Madness. Uh, and he is absolutely destroying me this Shut year. Shut up. So, really? Uh, I, I, yeah, he he had he had the th- the three ACC teams that made it to the Elite Eight. He had all of them in his Elite Eight. <laughs> oh, my. God. Okay, so wait. I don't know if that's so. an amazing statement about dogs and how awesome they are or a condemnation about all of us talking heads who think we know what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's definitely the latter, I think, for me. It's like, yeah, this is this is this is the time of year that all the friends and family come out of the woodwork and ask me my thoughts on uh, uh, an event that has become famous for being unpredictable. And they're like, "So, Titus, what's going to happen here?" <laughs> You're like, "Really, guys? Like, if, if, I, if I knew, if yeah, I knew, I would yeah. bet on all of it and then retire. Like it'd be game over." Yeah, exactly. It's insulting to me because I'm like, "You think if I knew this, I'd be doing a college basketball podcast and not like." <laughs> You know, right? I always make that argument. Living on an island somewhere. Yeah, like, what, don't you know everything? I was like, the future? No, no, I don't, I don't know the future at all. I can read off some stories. Yeah, no, so that's obviously we're here to talk about that because March Madness is most unpredictable. Uh, to me, it was funny because right as I was getting on here today, I just, I realized I was like, have we already had the best part of March Madness? Because now it just feels like we're at status quo, four great teams. Like, I don't know if I'm excited yeah. anymore. Should I be? Well, that's that's a great debate because it's the it's the tug of war, I guess, between like guys like me that cover it for a living and and not to insult you, but maybe a casual, very casual, a casual, yes, yeah. <laughs> um, so I understand why most people love the first week, and especially that's the really exciting part when you can just call off work on Thursday <laughs> and Friday and just sit there and, and watch game after game. Uh, for those of us that have been following these teams all year, this is. This is awesome because these four teams are, are are interesting in their own ways, and they're all blue bloods and all that. So I, the the final four is a dream final four. Um, but I also understand if you're someone that was like all about the St. Peter story, I mean, and then they lost, and now you're like, all right, never mind, I don't need to watch anymore. That makes sense to me. But uh, if you're a college basketball fan, you can't you can't draw up a better final four than what we got this year. I mean, year. I do think the fact that we have UNC and Duke playing, it, it's a bummer that they won't play for the final. Um, but yeah. to, I did not know, like, I was a little shocked. I did not realize they had not played in a tournament. I don't even know how yeah. that's mathematically possible. Well, I, I, I will, I, you're, you're, you work in the business, so I'll, I'll explain that actually them not being in the final is, I think, better because we have this whole week of lead up. Like in oh, the final, if they play, if they both won on Saturday, we would only have like 48 hours to talk about how crazy it's going to be that Duke and Carolina right. are playing for the. But now it's the whole lead up. <laughs> both of these teams won that made the final four. They flew back to their campuses. They're both six miles apart. Like the whole week in North Carolina has been chaos because they know they're going to play on Saturday. Um, I think it's almost better that they're meeting the final four because of that run up. Yeah has been just like nuts. The anticipation of it is going to kill everybody that's from that state. <laughs> They're just um, stressed out. Which makes it, yeah. Wait, yeah. you know what's funny about it? It's, it's also because we. I feel like, you know, bless his heart, uh, he just hasn't gotten enough time to really talk about that this is Coach K's uh, final run. <laughs> so I wanted to make sure we get an extra few days thrown in there. But like he, he actually, I think his quote was something along, you know, they want to win a championship. You can't go into it thinking of it as a rivalry or a payback, but like, they just handed him a loss in his final. So yeah. how is he? Is he's lying, right? There's no way he believes that. He's lying. He's 100% okay. <laughs> lying. So the, the the loss in Cameron Indoor Stadium, I don't say this lightly, was the funniest thing I've ever seen in, in my life watching sports. <laughs> it was... The it, it was supposed to be like a retirement party for Kay. It turned into a living funeral. Yes. Uh, ESPN blocked out the entire day just to just to, to to talk about which wasn't even coach K's final no. game by the way this was his final game at home so i was like okay so what exactly are we celebrating here whatever um 
And then the it started like so the whole day they're doing they're doing programming for Coach K game days there oh. like they're rolling in any former player that can talk about the time that Coach K <laughs> called me a, a mother effer and and then I gave him a hug like whatever. And then the Kansas Texas game before North Carolina Duke goes into overtime. That was, awesome. that was so good. <laughs> and we missed the entire pregame ceremony. Then by the time the game starts, North Carolina's already kicking Duke's ass. So those of us that like didn't flip over to ESPN plus no, 3.com whatever backslash coach K <laughs> and we're just watching the main feed, um, the game starts and we're like, "Oh, so this is not going according to plan." And then they lose and then nobody at Duke or ESPN had the, had the 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 sense to be like, all right, let's scrap the post game deal now because they lost. And Kay comes out, starts apologizing to the crowd. Oh. The crowd's like, no, don't worry about it. And then he yells at them, tells them to <laughs> shut up. The whole scene was was the funniest thing I've ever seen. And um, knowing Coach K and the ego that that man has, there is no world in which he's treating this like Thank another. You. Like he he has to win this game. He has to beat North. If he does not beat North Carolina, I. I mean, I, I honest to God, like, I don't say this lightly. Maybe his legacy is tarnished in some yes. way because, like, <laughs> I, 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 you know, it's, it's, it's insane. If, if, if this man goes out after his last home game is losing North Carolina after the charade, the, the, the whole thing that they threw for him, and then he follows it up with his, la- his literally his final game is losing in the final four to North Carolina when he's the favorite to win the whole thing now. <sighs> I don't know. It, that, would be, that would be delightful. Would be. As a K-hater myself. What, yeah, so let, what delightful. is the deal? Because I've tried to figure this out. I obviously, like, I'm, I'm pulling for North Carolina. It's the Michael Jordan. It's the... Yeah. But there's also that thing about, like, I have zero ties to the state, to the schools, to anything. But yet, I just have this natural disdain for Coach K and Duke. Yeah. Like, why is that? You either love them or you're uh, like, Ugh. Yeah, I think Duke fans will tell you it's because they win all the time. And I think once upon a time, that might have been true. Like, if in the early 2000s, maybe-ish. But as more time has worn on, um, the hip- hypocrisy from Coach K, the, uh, the, the, the self-righteousness, the... Um, the the fact that he like steals everything from like when he first started coaching his whole thing was I'm gonna be Bob Knight he was Bob he was a Bob Knight disciple he was like like he ran his program like Bob Knight he just realized that Bob Knight being a dick publicly wouldn't play long term so he kind of like hid that part of him but behind closed doors he was Bob Knight right and then he gets down to Tobacco Road he starts like building his program he realizes Dean Smith's down the road. And Dean Smith's killing it. So he, he takes, like, the Bob Knight behind closed doors approach, the Dean Smith public-facing Oof. approach, and then this last phase of his career, he's turned into, like, John Calipari. <laughs> and I think those of us that follow college basketball are like, this guy is just, like... That's tough. He, he's all over... Like, he, he cares about one thing, and it's himself. And I think, like, the more you pay attention to that the more it wears on you. So um, I understand the idea that that a lot of us maybe just hate him because they win, but it's not that because, like, you know, take a guy like Bill Belichick, for example, or Nick Saban's a great, great example. Nick Saban in college sports, uh, I I don't I hate that his teams are good. Sure. I hate that my team will will probably not beat him, but, like, the guy – I don't have a problem with the guy. Um, and Nick Saban, by the way, when he retires, I'm going to go ahead and guess that Nick Saban doesn't announce his retirement like nine months in advance. I mean, advance you got to get those gifts. Demand that ESPN. Got to get those gifts. <laughs> you know what my thing with Coach K is? And this is just one very recent example, but it sort of has been his like vibe. There's that shot of him walking in to the arena with his wife. They're holding hands. They're decked out in their blue. And like, I don't think you could squeeze a piece of paper between both of their ass like they are so <laughs> tense and there's not even the glimmer of what could be a smile nothing i'm like look yeah. i get it kind of that it's sort of serious but is it really that serious like just a smile not even her i'm like what is their house like that's what i want to know what is it like in that <laughs> the, home well, that for everything i've heard is that uh that he has no interest outside of basketball Oof. which is why he's coached forever and why there, there's like a legitimate fear that this man's gonna have nothing to do. And, <laughs> Can you go um, fishing or? <laughs> that, that, that's the reality show I want to see is is put up some cameras and Coach Kids. Oh, I'd, I'd watch it. I'd, based on that one walk in, <laughs> I'd watch it. So like obviously the America's pulling for North Carolina. That's the story we want to see. Yeah. Um, on the other side of things, you got Kansas and Villanova. To me, Villanova was my yep. pick to win it all. I know they've suffered a massive injury. Um, there's nothing I can do about that now. But what are you thinking about that game? It seems mm-hmm. like obviously the the less sexy of the two, just given what the, the rivalry is on the other side. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely the less sexy, definitely the game that uh, no one's gonna really get. like. <laughs> I, I, the, 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 the stadium's gonna be half full for this one because everyone's gonna show up like towards the end Oof. of this game for the Duke Carolina. They're they're gonna be out drinking in the parking lot before uh, the Duke Carolina game. But um, no, th- this this will be a great game. I mean, the last the last high profile. I don't know if it was the last time they played, but uh, they played in San Antonio, mm-hmm, Michelle, mm-hmm. for the uh, uh, in the Final Four, and and uh, Villanova beat the snot out of them. Um, but th- this will be a tempo game. Kansas likes to get up and run. Villanova likes to win like 46 to 41. Um, Villanova is Villanova is a team that is has a very defined culture, and I guess you 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 and your Spurs fandom would appreciate that. that. Maybe that's why you why you love why you pick Villanova to win. No, nope, that's a very, not why. Very Mark, defined. I picked it because well, I think attractive people should always be better than everyone, and Jay Wright <laughs> is attractive. That's it. <laughs> That is solely why I picked Villanova. <laughs> Not even gonna try to lie. No, I, I, yeah, I don't. That's literally why I was like, you know. No, you're like I read a study somewhere that attractive people are more successful, yes. so that has to play. No, I mean, you're not wrong. Villanova's been <laughs> Villanova's been like the most successful team in in the NCAA tournament in the last five or seven years, whatever it is. So that checks out. I think Justin Moore. So Villanova said you you mentioned it. Their second best player, Justin Moore, tore his Achilles <laughs> uh, with like a minute left. Um, that's gonna that's gonna impact him because they, they they didn't have much depth to begin with. They only played like six right. guys. Now they're gonna I assume play five. I, I, okay. I assume they have to bring somebody off the bench God. though. So I don't know what they're gonna do here. Um, Kansas is the better team. Kansas should win. Uh, and and I and and I I want Kansas to win. Nothing against Villanova, but I think like there's a there's a larger war at play beyond like these individual games, and it is we have to make sure Duke does not win the national championship. Fair. And Kansas is better suited to beat Duke should Duke get past North Carolina. Right. So I if if Villanova beats Kansas, I don't know if I like that as much as It's Kansas actually a good wins. point. I mean look, my bracket does it doesn't matter anyways. By the way, how long did your bracket last? Like are you still good? No, I was I uh, <laughs> I picked Kentucky to win. <laughs> wow. Wow. I mean that is that's why it's great. And you know what's crazy? You know what's crazy, Michelle? Is I, I will still get paid to do this. Exactly. Next year. That's what's beautiful about it. Well, they should pay your dog, to be honest with you. But like I, that's yeah, what's exactly, great about yeah. the whole thing is like it's, it's why as a casual fan, I just I live for this part of the year because haven't watched yeah. a single thing all season. One thousand percent, all in the minute this starts, and this is why. Because <laughs> what? Is, 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 is you can be honest with me. Is this uh, the the is this as fun for like? Uh, <laughs> uh, I know you're a basketball fan in general, but like a general sports fan, um, is March Madness like what, the the playoff? I'm, I'm trying to think of like what God, other because yeah. it's obviously it's the best to me, but I, I I live and breathe it. So like, is this is this actually? The best tournament. I think the best so. I, I think because it's the yeah. one and done. I mean, I know NBA. The closest thing is obviously the the play in tournament part, which is very much reason why they're doing that. Um, but yeah, I can't. You don't have to have any idea of what's been going on all season, but you tune in that first Thursday and, and just watch for the rest yeah. of it. It is, it's just compelling and dramatic and ridiculous. And it's funny how quickly, as a sports fan, your brain. I mean, I know everything about these schools. I know where they are, how many people, the famous alumni. Because all of a sudden, you're just that's all you watch for these weeks. It's, yeah, yeah, it's crazy. It, there's not. That's the other thing. There's really no other playoff system where you can sort of tune in just for that and and be all in. Like the others, you kind of. You know, if your team's not in it, it's it's tough. It's just two teams. That's so true. yeah, it's, it's weird. That's true. It's, I, I love it. I love it so much. And yeah, I don't. Big Ten, by the way. What's what's the deal oh with the God. Big Ten? What is the deal? Nine <laughs> teams, none left. I know. Well, I I I'm in a big I'm a Big Ten apologist. Perhaps <laughs> that's fine. The biggest Big Ten <laughs> apologist. <laughs> Fair. Um, but the Big Ten, to be f- so, I'm going to make this excuse, which is that I don't think the Big Ten was even good to begin with this okay. year. So, like, I think, like, like the Big Ten had no number one seeds. We had no number two seeds. I say we, by the way. <laughs> That's um, fair. <laughs> You're allowed to. <laughs> but, uh, but, um, so like, the, I, I didn't really feel like there were very many good team, big, good, good Big Ten teams to begin with. To where the, saying the Big Ten choked in this tournament isn't fair. The Big Ten choked last year's tournament. That was the tournament the Big okay. Ten choked. Um, but the conference has not won a, turn, a, a national championship since 2000. God. We've had, I think, six different programs have lost the title game, Michelle. That's... Six different teams have gotten to the championship game. Uh, I was on one of yes. them in 2007, and uh, we we lost to Florida. Um, oh, you know what? That but... was the – wait, which Florida team was that? 
The one with everybody? That was Joe yeah, Kanoa. Yeah. And yeah, Al You know what's Horford crazy is I was working Brewer, that yeah. Final Four. How crazy that our paths were so close and yet so yeah. far. Oh, oh, life. We, we, we actually played, I think we played our regional in San Antonio. Yeah, too, I, like I remember doing we, that because I remember that Florida team was just like, yeah. whoa. Everyone on this team is ridiculous. Yeah. Well, they they won the they won the title the year before, and then they brought back all five starters, which I think should be illegal. I don't <laughs> yeah, think that's not what college basketball is about. A, <laughs> you're you're that's, supposed that's to stupid. win and leave. Get out of that's here. The whole point. <laughs> um, but no, I don't I don't know what the Big Ten's going to do because it, it's it's like I'm running out of excuses. I don't know. I I used to make the argument. I used to do the self righteous deal of saying like every other conference was cheating, and we're the only conference that doesn't pay players. Yeah, and all no, that it's, I could, that's what I do when I can't get my way. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blame yeah. everybody else for cheating. Oh. Uh, but now you can like kind of pay players above the table. So I don't know what it, I, I gotta I gotta go back to the drawing board. That's my off season homework because I gotta figure out what excuses I'm gonna use yeah. next year for the big. Well, team, they also need they have time. <laughs> like out. you cannot be this close every time and have this many options and opportunities and like have zero to show for it at the end. Like to me, that's mathematically yeah. almost impossible. It's 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 pretty insane when you start looking at the numbers and start. Uh, really breaking down. like like i said it's not it's not like we're we're top heavy that like there's one or two programs that get to the final four and choke or whatever that we've yes. had there have been six different six different schools have played for a national championship and they've all lost i mean that's insane to <laughs> me great. yeah it's a statistically it's uh well it's not good i know that i know math uh, okay titus and tate live how pumped yeah. are you I'm excited. We're doing a live show tomorrow. I'm flying out to New Orleans here in a second, and then um, we're we're so my co-host Tate went to North Carolina, and watching watching him absorb this <laughs> Carolina Duke Armageddon through watching oh. it, watching it through his lens has been hysterical. He's talked himself in and out of this game, not like like all the pressures on Duke. So in his mind, he keeps <laughs> saying it doesn't matter. We already beat him in Cameron. Who cares? And then I talked to him five minutes later, and he's like, "This is the biggest game ever. We have to, we have to kill him." <laughs> have um, to kill so <laughs> it's uh, he he's called. He's also the 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 other funny part is he he's he's called Coach K. I think in the last week every movie villain oh, you can good. think of. He's made he's made Darth Vader analogies. He's made Voldemort analogies. He starts crossing his analogies of like. We have to find the Horcrux to take down the Death Star, <laughs> oh and I'm like, Tate, that's it's too many. It's too many nerd references. In one yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't track this. He's like, we're the Avengers. We have to get the Avengers together to take down Darth Vader, and I'm like, that's not that movie, but I like where your head's yeah. at. Um, so I'm excited to get just get boots on the ground, and like, I, I, I truly am a neutral in all this, even though I do hate Dukes, I guess. Uh, but you know. <laughs> I otherwise I don't really care and I just like I'm a fan of the sport any other I think I honestly think any other year I wouldn't care if Duke won it's that it's Coach K's last year and I think it just I think Michelle sends a bad message to the kids if uh if Coach K wins I agree I think like how do we how do we all at home talk to our kids? You and I, who both have right. no kids. But, no, God, uh, no. But we, other kids. Yeah. I like to tell other people's kids things. <laughs> yeah, how do we talk to other kids about the world when Coach K throws himself no. a, 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 a... There's a Coach K slurp fest oh. for an entire season that ends with him holding a trophy above his head. We can't, we can't no, live in that No, that's not world. the fairy tale ending that any of us want because it's not a fairy tale. Yeah. It's a nightmare. Yeah, and we didn't sign up for that. And I'm actually glad we got Coach K on the mind because we're taking a quick break. When we come back, <laughs> you and I are now in charge of planning his retirement party. And needless to say, it'll be amazing. We'll be back. <laughs> uh, welcome back. It is, uh, as you may probably know and have it marked in your calendar, Coach K's done after this bad boy, uh, presumably after he loses to North Carolina. Um, <laughs> so we thought, we, we thought, well, you know what? Who's better to plan his retirement party than two people that really adore him? Uh, Paige, you're taking this <laughs> bad boy over, right? Yes. I am. Yes, yes. Go. Uh, so I here's the deal. Wait. Like you just said, Tuesday morning, regardless of if they win on Saturday or Monday or lose, frankly, Coach K is retiring unless he Tom Brady's us, he which better not. TBD. Mark, that's he what better I was going to say. That's, that's on the table. If he loses, that's on does the he table. do that? If oh. he loses, he might. He's In fact, 100. if he wins, he, he might. He's a hundred. If he wins, if he wins, he might be like, I got to do that again. Can I say this? I would. These these turds that decide to work <laughs> until they're like seventies and eighties. What do you? Do? Oh. I'd retire yesterday if I could. Like I kind of did. Yeah. Like what are you doing? Like nobody <laughs> wants to keep working. We still got you back. <laughs> I know, right? Like kind of. You got me two days a week. That's all I got. But <laughs> I did think of that, Mark, when you said earlier, it sort of had a living funeral. That's essentially oh. what Brady did as well, right? Retire. Everyone tell me I'm great. I'm sitting at my own funeral. Yeah. It's brilliant. And then I'm back, baby. It is brilliant. Yep. That's not the point of this. We all know that if left to his own devices, 
a th- retirement party thrown by Coach K will oh. be will be the most boring party of all time. My God. So I think that what I would like for the two of you to do is imagine the party that we want. Beetle, you're known for the okay. parties. So sure. Mark, I'm sure you've attended some of those parties. We can figure this <laughs> yeah. out together. Super Bowl. Okay. 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 Wait, so you First, want us to plan it for real or plan it in what we think Coach K would like? Because that's two different either. things. One has cocaine and strippers. Or what coach, the other one has like laxatives and sleeping pills. Or what he deserves. Which, yes. Ah, what he yeah, deserves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes. I got this. Yes. <laughs> so okay. no fun. So okay. <laughs> first thing, location. I think we all know if this is planned by him, it's a conference room at a double tree in Orlando. Ooh, points. Where are we going wow. instead? Wow, that is a, uh, I would like it at a nudist colony somewhere in Boca Raton. <laughs> As Mark's shirt very much uh, implies. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> well because I think who doesn't want to see that visual for the rest of their lives? You're welcome. Mm-hmm. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> Coach K knew his quality. With all of his former players. Oh, no. What have I done? This oh is bad. God. This is bad. <laughs> okay, wait. No. God, where would it um, be? Yeah, I'm trying to think. Where, where would Coach K be... The, the most uh, just absolutely miserable Oof. where where is coach k um I, honestly he doesn't have any just, like i i feel like he, i feel like he would be miserable in vegas he, he strikes vegas. me as like a miserable in vegas yeah. guy honestly like uh, weirdly this is I, I really think like the most fun party you could throw would also be the most miserable party I for agree. coach k because if it's a fun party there will be other things going on that will take away from you <laughs> kissing Coach K's ass. Exactly. So you know what I mean? Like if there's a party and... with cocaine. Ooh, ooh. Yeah. If there's a party with cocaine and strippers, I'm focusing on the cocaine and strippers and I'm not sitting there <laughs> telling Coach K how You're great so great. he is. Okay. So, Basically, we're <laughs> throwing a party we want to attend. It sounds okay. Like. Yeah, exactly. But, uh, nudist Colony would be funny for, yeah. Somewhere with really yeah, loud just, music just and sad. preferably like... Um, <laughs> Like EDM or, or you know some sort of like really obnoxious it's, 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 that he would probably just despise sure, it also. Sure. That, could, sure. that, that, that yeah oh that's it. It's like there's really loud music, but then everything else is exactly what he wants. Where like all the players, like yes. everyone there is trying to tell him how great he is, but he's like I can't. I'm sorry. What what what? what? I'm sorry. Let me read like, your like he lips. does with Tracy yeah. Wolfson after the after the oh game. He's like what was that? Tra- was well, it? and then the camera has that? to get like right here. I'm like, okay, we could back up yeah, a little bit, yeah. even on Jay Wright. Uh, okay, okay, so let's talk food. Food. Oh, so I think, something again, we're, we're in a, previously we're in a conference room at the Doubletree. We're probably eating Costco finger foods, samples only. Mm, maybe maybe Bruiser brings cupcakes. But instead, what's a better <laughs> catering solution? Mm. Yeah, I mean, you would think he would want soft foods, um, but... I don't think that's what we're gonna fiber. do. Like a lot, of, ooh, fiber, a lot of prunes, a lot of protein, protein, protein shakes. shakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what would he ensure? What would the uh, people love? And something. God, I don't. I, I feel it. I feel like he's boring with food, right? Like I feel like he eats the same thing every day. Same thing for breakfast. Same thing for lunch. Same thing for dinner. He's yeah. that guy, I think. Yeah, I, he 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 strikes me as like he's like individually wrapped. <laughs> type foods that he just like sit he, he, he like puts like a wrapped <laughs> <laughs> like like microwave meatloaf or something meatloaf. he like unwraps it and puts it on a plate yes and sticks it in a microwave and then pulls that out and and then him and mickey like oh. pour a glass of wine and and stare at each other and they both as you said michelle have their butt cheeks clenched <laughs> and are just like it's anything like you can, can get silent like, guy I mean, he. I can picture him as like a Luby's cafeteria with the trays, and then you like scoot him on down. So something like that vibe. Maybe that's the theme. I, I, I would love to get him in a situation where uh, you know, like politicians when they're on the the, the oh, road, God, they, they yes. get like thrown in in, in in certain situations where they have to eat like hot wings or like they have they pizza have to, with a fork. You're it, like, it, nope. No. Nope. Yeah, yeah, and, and then they're like, "What is this foreign thing? Pizza? <laughs> what do you, What do you guys call it?" And, and I would love to put Kay in a situation like that, like take him to like an authentic barbecue yes. spot, and see how he handles just like a bunch of slop thrown on a tray, and like you know he's got to figure all and that it's out. And all, and then everyone else will be um, happy because everyone loves barbecue. Okay. Yep. A Mexican restaurant where he has to like make his own tacos. Yes. You like the know, fajitas. like you kind of it's a cheetahs. Yeah, like a fi- like a, yeah, like a taco bar, and, he, and you like watch Coach K try oh, to I'm like, in. navigate. I'm in. Wait, no I feel like okay. Him. Wait, I like this. I think it's Mexican food, but only he gets the fajitas because whoever orders fajitas is clearly a narcissist because everyone's looking at the waiter bring it. Oh and yeah, yeah, that's on you. K. 
careful it's a hot plate that's right okay (laughs) okay music music we touched on this slightly previously obviously 2006 playlist on an ipod shuffle instead who's performing Mm. Uh, who would he really? I mean, he, I feel like he might be a, a closet Lizzo fan just for the just the whole experience of Lizzo. Um, actually, I would pay to watch Coach K at a Lizzo concert. I would pay to see Coach K just look at Lizzo's Instagram feed. I'm trying to think of like like Co- Coach K's move would be he would want like someone who's super famous, fair, uh, because he's 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 a clout shit. He, he's all about the brand. He's all about like. Yeah, the the you know this is why he he coached Team USA so he could have all those he could have LeBron James get in front of cameras <laughs> and talk about how yeah. he would have gone to do if you he know? knew yeah. Um, so but he also has terrible taste so I <laughs> I'm I'm settling on like Taylor Swift would be perfect for Ooh, his. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good. And she has zero interest in that in like I'm assuming him and that's actually She's perfect. Like, who? Yeah, it's a paid appearance they, they for both, her. Perfect. They both hate it, like don't hate each other, but they both are like I'm not into this yes. at all. But like. They both love the clout that comes with it of like Taylor Swift's like, this is great that I'm playing Coach K's retirement. And Coach K's like, we got Taylor Swift. How yeah, cool how, is that? Is that and hip like, and cool? What's your favorite song, Coach? And he's like, uh, Drew looks at me. I don't know. <laughs> what's that? I don't even know like what it is. Okay. Yep. Oh, God. This party's shaping up to be a banger. <laughs> this, this is, yeah. Hard to, okay. okay. Drinks. Uh, oh. Previously, we are going Pepsi products and O'Doul's. Great. What, what great. are we drinking? What's the drink of choice at Coach K retirement? I mean, I think I like the idea of everyone just walking around with their own individual bottles of like Goldschlager and disgusting things like that. Like no cups. There will be no cups at this party. You either straw it or chug it. Otherwise, you're out. And that's what I'd like to see personally. Yeah. Just Edward Ford. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> God, what do you think he drank? Like, what do you, what do you think the last drink. time he just had like a little buzz on? If he'd even, do, I don't know if he does that. That's a great. They, when the last time Coach K was God, drunk, I, what was he drinking? I, I, I picture him as like a Manhattan. A, he strikes me as a nightly vodka neat guy. Vodka neat. Interesting. Mm. What's the Cocktail most boring? Long? Get the job done. Liquor. Like a Tom yeah, Collins. Yeah, what is I, that? I, I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to get the I'm job done. Job. Let's just yeah. taking it one drink at a time. Uh, okay. Yeah, go um, ahead. But he definitely, you know that he, him and Mickey, you know that like Mickey has tried to turn him into a wino so. and he's like, and he doesn't really know what he's doing with that, which I'm not, you know, I, I'm, I'm, it's the pot calling the kettle black for me. <laughs> yeah, but, but you like, got time. I, 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 uh, I, I, I think I, I, I just love the idea of like Mickey, like pulling out like a bottle of wine <sighs> and explaining it to coach K, like what Expensive this is and why stuff. this is a nice yes. bottle. And he's like, just pour the, just pour it, Mick. Just pour it. I'm it thirsty. Like great. It looks <laughs> red. Mm. Mm. It's purple. It's really yeah, purple, red. isn't it? It's more purple. <laughs> yeah, no, I like that. I like that. And I hope she has some good ones. I want her. Maybe she gets her buzz on every day. I don't know. I can't tell. No, they're, you know, they're fireball beetle? Yeah. I'm not talking about fireball for another three years. Minimum. Okay. Moratorium's <laughs> so, not up. Yeah, we Got can't it. even mention it. Okay. Got it. Got it. Edit okay, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, out, fun stuff. Guest list. Uh, obviously, Duke alumni are coming. We saw them all at the, the Ugh, last last God. game. Um, but what celebrities would make things more interesting? Oh, uh, I mean, just oh, some man. inappropriate. And then what are they bringing to the table? Like, who's bringing the ice? <laughs> <laughs> who's bringing the ice? Good God. Who would want to go to this thing? Well, Kevin Kevin Hart's going to be there because of what I said earlier about the, the like, always having yep. to be... You know, like like uh, Kevin Hart has to be. Kevin Hart is like, is there a camera? Yep. And they're like, yeah, there, someone might film. And he's like, I'm there. <laughs> someone, might, someone might put something on the internet. Oh yeah, I'm yeah, good. Like, I'm I'll good. be there. I'll host. What do you What do you need from me? I'll do it. Yeah, what um, celebrities would go to this? I feel like they'd rather go to a different party than this one. Yeah. So it's gonna be like LeBron. LeBron for would sure. come, and LeBron would give a speech about how he he swears he was definitely going to Duke, and he he would give the he would he would accidentally uh you know like the Jimmy V speech where Jimmy V said uh uh the Green Bay Packers instead of Rutgers <laughs> basketball. He was talking about when he said Vince Lombardi. LeBron would do that, but he would say every other school that he's talked about going to, where he'd be. So he'd be reading the speech about how he's going to Duke, and he'd accidentally say Ohio State. Are you saying State LeBron's fickle, Mark? Or... I can't tell. Is he is he wishy washy? I don't know. It's like which football fan, might be. Which football team do you like, buddy? Um, LeBron definitely. Kevin Hart. Yeah, those are like the people that I think of when I think of like, ooh, we need to be where the stuff is happening. Maybe like a like a Courtney Kardashian and a Travis Barker. They seem to randomly show up at places they don't belong. Like that's weird. Like that. <laughs> yeah. And also, I'd love it. I would love to see them making out right in front of Coach K. Just um, is Ken Jong the only Duke Cara, alum that we like? Yeah, Kara just wrote the, that in. 
Yeah, Ken Jeong. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah. The 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 girl Retta, I think's her name. She played oh, Donna yeah. yes. in uh, Parks and Rec. I think she went Treat to Duke because she was at the. Um, um, Tim Cook, the Apple guy, mm. also known as Tim yes, Apple. Yes, Tim Apple. Uh, he went to Duke. Yep. Is, does he... Jerry Seinfeld was at the, yeah, why the was final he game because his, oh, his daughter. I guess his daughter went there, but also that feels like a Seinfeld it move does. too, if I'm being completely it honest, does. to just kind of like show up at a Duke game and be like, I mean, I'm it's the equivalent Seinfeld, of a Yankees me. game, and that he, yeah, well, he's a Mets fan. Oh my God, he's confused. He's sending mixed messages. <laughs> Which celebrity yeah, okay. shows up and fights Grace and Allen? Other than Michelle. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm not a celebrity, but I will 1000% go if I'm guaranteed a shot at Grace and Allen. <laughs> just one shot. I just need one, you know. Just one Will Smith moment, open oh, face, open handed, oh, oh, bam! I yeah. know it's like okay, yeah. yeah. But I'm not the only one. The line would they could almost do like a kissing booth, except for it's a punching booth, and Grace and Allen's in there <laughs> and raise like a ton of money for charity if Coach K wants that. I don't, I don't think he does. Yeah, that's a great point. Like Grace and Allen, uh, does he hate sick kids or what? Like why hasn't he why hasn't he done this? Uh, he, no, he why does hate it? sick kids. He's on the record. Is, is that <laughs> by the way if you could just put an asterisk he's not on the right i don't know if he's on the record uh yeah but who brings ice who gives a toast like these are tough because who's who's the who's the guy that like uh yeah what celebrity is like guys i'm gonna do it i'm jumping in the pool i'm gonna do it and we're like all right probably kevin hart again <laughs> everything's kevin <laughs> probably if you can't Kevin's think of anyone it's it's, it's, it's kevin hart uh maybe pete davidson randomly shows up because he's kind of in a pete weird Davidson's space a yeah good like one. He doesn't know yeah. why he's there, but he's there. Yeah, is it well this is a great this is a great hypothetical. Is the Coach K retirement party more of a Kanye thing or a Pete Davidson Ooh. thing? If you're if you're putting together the guest list and you're like, we can't have them both there, obviously. We have to pick well, one. Well, if we're putting together a guest list, um, we are having them both there, obviously. Yeah, like, that's true. That's true. <laughs> that's yeah. the only way we guarantee fun. Man, it, it feels Pete Davidson ish. Yeah. Like I don't think it's chaotic enough to be a Kanye adjacent event. Okay. Right. God, I love that. Would we go to this like party? Get, like Antonio Brown also shows up. Yeah, like it's just oh, and then he brings his friend quickly. that he thinks oh, yeah. is Pitbull, but it's not that's Pitbull. Right. And that's then right. we're like, oh, that's yeah. great. <laughs> yeah, this is a danger. This is a dangerous game that Kay's gonna play because uh, the more the more he wants celebrities, but the more you bring, the more it's not. It's about no, him. not at all. So it just becomes like the the. The tug of war there. He's gonna I want, have to do this. Like, I want DJ Khaled to be like, they said I'd never re- perform at a Coach K retirement party, and yeah. here I am. Like, I, I want him to be. Yeah. I think, Pit, I think Pitbull <laughs> doing a set um, for a crowd of like twelve people, but treating yes. it like it's a packed out arena, yes. and like bringing the same energy In. and coming out and pumping the fist, and like, <laughs> it's like two people going, and "What yeah, are we doing yeah, here?" Oh, A yeah. Rod, Alex Rodriguez shows A-Rod, up at A-Rod, everything. Yeah. That's definitely one. God, you know what? This guest list is getting kind of big. It's I don't... hosted by Mario Lopez. Oh, good <laughs> call. Mario Lopez is outside doing red carpet interviews until he's allowed to go back inside as a civilian. Like, I like everything about that. Are we even... Go- <laughs> Let me ask you this. If we were allowed to go to this party or invited, would we go to this party? <sighs> I think I, I would want to be there, but I, I wouldn't want anyone... I. I... I would I would do like undercover work. I would do the valet. I think <gasps> at the party. that's a good. Call. I would I would I would be undercover, but I wouldn't want to. You do yeah. valet. I'm the bathroom attendant. Although yeah. I feel like the bathroom, <laughs> the men's bathroom is going to be better. Maybe we switch. You might want to. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're the bathroom attendant because you're going to get way more gossip All in right. your bathroom than I'm going to get in mine. No one's going to be in mine. There's... Well, that's true. <laughs> The good news is we'll get this one party out of the way. He's going to unretire and we get a second crack at it in three to five years. No, 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 no. This There needs to be a rule in play. I don't know if this is something the president needs to put in, in action, but like enough is enough. You retire and you stay retired, period. Or yeah. there has to be a window. Like you have to stay retired for a minimum of five years, which then would age out a lot of this. And then... Then yeah. you're allowed to perhaps come back, but like this 10, 20 minutes later thing is not cute. Or you have to you have to have a minor league baseball stint in between yeah. your retirements. Well, yeah. Everyone should do the Jordan <laughs> model and like no matter what you're retiring from, like Coach K, if he wants to come back to Duke, should have to go play minor league baseball. Oh my god, for a year, I would pay for that. Come back to I would pay so much money <laughs> to see that happen. It's the and buy a sweet ass bus for your teammates because that's also why MJ is the greatest of all time. Uh, we're taking a break. When we come back, I want you to tell everyone where the hell they're supposed to go in New Orleans because if you're not going to this in New Orleans, you're stupid. Give me one second. 
All right, we are back. Uh, the last thing, obviously, the thing that we've nailed the entire tournament. Uh, let's make predictions. <laughs> Who wins? <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> Jesus. I've killed it. I picked Kentucky to... Um, you know what, Michelle? My prediction, I think Kentucky's going to surprise everyone and find <laughs> a way to win this thing. story I'm everyone sticking wants. with it. Yeah. <laughs> like, do you... Okay, heart of hearts. Do you have Duke winning it all now? Um... Duke is definitely so Duke is the betting favorite and I think that's that makes a lot of sense but I also I do think that there is some element of like mysticism at play where people believe that Duke's going to win just because it is coach K's final yeah. year and if you actually like pay attention to the teams uh, Duke has not been of these four teams I would say Duke has been the third best yes. all season like Kansas and Villanova have been better than Duke um, North Carolina has not but they did beat Duke's ass yeah. uh, last time they played so I, <laughs> God, if, if, if you put a gun to my head, I, I think, I think you have to do the safe thing and say Duke's going to win. But like, I, I have talked myself into North Carolina and it's not even because I want it to happen. Like, I, I think what makes this tournament so cool is that, uh, the psychology of it, that like a team like St. Peter's plays Kentucky on any other day. Oh. Kentucky probably sure. wins, but Kentucky, as that game starts winding down, Kentucky gets like their buttholes start tightening yep. up. St. Peter's doesn't, they're like, who cares if we lose? We're, we're here, you're, you know, and that starts factoring in. And I think that every ounce of pressure that could possibly exist in this North Carolina Duke game is yep. on Duke. And I think that has to work in Carolina's favor. That I think that, like, so I, I want Carolina to win, but I, God, I don't. I want them to win. Well, my, I'm, lock me in on this prediction. I think Carolina <gasps> wins, then they, they, they think like, the, they beat Duke and then they forget that there's another game on Monday and they get their ass beat on Monday by okay. Kansas for the national okay. title. Kansas <laughs> over North Carolina. By the way, and that's yeah, that's my that's acceptable. Prediction. I feel like that Duke North it's it's so much. Um, yeah, I I am gonna pull for North Carolina. I know that it feels like there's no way they beat them twice in this short window of time. But then again, this is a whole different scenario. So I'm pulling for North Carolina. I'm gonna stick even with the injury. I'm gonna stick with my Villanova pick since it's the only thing left mm -hmm. on my bracket. Um, and I'm gonna say North Carolina wins the whole thing. Go go two three. I know Whoa. it's it's. I mean, obviously, there's Whoa. so much riding on it. My zero dollars that I'm willing to risk at any of it. But yeah, okay. It, where so you'll be in New Orleans it, Thursday? It, where are you guys? Where's where's it all happening? Uh, we are at the Nopsy Hotel. It is like right between Bourbon Street and the Superdome. Oh, you're dead. Um, <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have we're doing a live show Thursday night. Um, you should be able to get tickets. I don't even know. I I know nothing about the venue. I don't know. Perfect. I don't know what I don't know what and these are the most fun live shows when you when the 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 talent doesn't it's even know what to expect kind. and they're just the yeah <laughs> so uh we've we've been texting I was given a uh, uh a number of a guy named Adam who is apparently like the tech guy oh, there geez. I've texted Adam questions about I've had our producer text Adam about like the setup there Adam has not <gasps> responded to any of these texts <laughs> oh my god okay okay now well now so, it's going to be amazing <laughs> Uh, we we it, it is going to be so fun because uh, we I, I, we have a couple things planned, but if they they I don't know you know how live shows I love go. live shows sometimes they don't work out and there's nothing and you can do about it like it it's, it's done it's over it's fun and yeah. it's good and it's New Orleans so. and like everyone in New Orleans is always in a good mood and ready for the next thing so I think it's yes. the perfect scenario um it's there, gonna be great there will be alcohol there will be food <laughs> yes. and that's really that's all that matters all that so, matters. Um, yeah, and, and there will be a lot of Coach K shit talk is, is what I can promise. That's, so. the se that's the selling line that you put at the bottom of the thing. Coach K shit talk, drinks and food, New Orleans scene. Um, there it by is. the way, safe flight out there. Thank you so much for doing this. Uh, I, I'm excited. Absolutely. You're right. You know what? I'm back to being excited about this, the rest of the tournament. I, for a minute there, I thought I was done. This, We're good now. No, you you have to watch Michelle because Carolina. If Carolina Duke can't get you, I mean, this is like because, like I said, this is this goes beyond like the normal March Madness. Yes. Beyond like just it, th this is like a cultural war at play of like good versus evil, hate and love. And I mean, there's literally a guy North Carolina. Literally, their best player is named Caleb Love. <laughs> Like how it's how perfect. poetic can you it's make perfect. that? Like the guy that's going to take down the hatred machine of Duke is named Love. Um, so you have you have to watch. And I got to say before yeah. we go, uh, this is this is this has been a fun full circle moment for me because I don't even know if you remember this. One of the very first like big national uh, platform things I ever got in in my career, which I didn't have a career at the time. <laughs> I was I was a walk on basketball player at Ohio State. It wasn't even a career. I was just writing blogs on the side. Uh, was you and Colin Coward talking about 
uh, my Mr. Rainmaker video Dude, I made on Sports Nation. It's crazy. Oh, God, that was like the, so long ago yeah, too. That was, oh yeah, my God. That was like one of the first times that I ever saw my face on television was when you guys were talking about me. And that's, I was the like, dr- that's the drug. Wow. You saw it and it's like heroin. Yeah. You're like, I got to get yeah. more of that. <laughs> so I have you to blame. Welcome, so I'm going to send you, I'm going to invoice you all my therapy bills. Oh shit. That well, we're exchanging the last therapy 10 years bills. From being, yeah. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> sir this has been a pleasure i'm so happy we got to do this and what a perfect time of year to do it um thank you so much and good luck good luck with your predictions namaste